What is up guys, it's Mega giving you another deck for Link Evolution. We're going to be honouring a deck request and that is a Goki deck. This deck is of course my own opinion at the end of the day, but it's completely cool if you guys disagree with any of the cards that are shown in this video. I would like to highly stress out that Gokis have been hit so hard in this game, they're not even a shadow of their former selves. They are literally the bottom of the bottom. For instance, the um, the Nightmare Goblin is banned, Mech, um, MK Invoker is banned, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade is banned, um, the ne the Neospatian um, con Conductor, not in this game, the new Goki Support, not in this game, all of the Goki cards we have are, over, are from over a year ago, and all the cards back then were running all the cards that are either banned, or cards such as um, Triple Hornet Drone and Triple Engage, but guess what, you can't because the limit. So this deck has a lot of limitations and if you could just have even a slight to stop those cards that were banned This deck would be absolutely amazing. So I have had to change a few cards around guys So I do apologize. It's taken me so long to rack my head around how to make even a slightly decent Goki deck so if you guys um, have any com um, at home comments or any way we could make this deck decent with this stupid ban list let me know in the comment section down below. And like I say in every single video, if you're struggling to make any decks, hit um, hit up the card hub for not only does it show you the card is in this game, it shows you where to find it. Such as be a card pack, a deck, um, um, a, like, a challenge deck, a campaign, it will tell you everything you need to know. And with that guys, let's get into the video. Sun is off, it's the one copy of Goki Bear Hub. This is kind of like the big ass um, um, Goki in the um, in in the main deck. It should it be special summoned or it should it be normal summoned. Um, you get to target a monster on your opponent's field and lose half its attacks. It kind of gets over those nice little beat, beat sticks and it shares all the effects that it does with the other Gokis where it should it go to the grave you get to search a Goki card from your deck to your hand. So there's a very good um, so that's very good for that part and it's kind of just good um, it's kind of just good to go over a monster attack. You need one. Um, triple head um, um, triple head bar. This card if you have a Goki card in your hand you get to discard it, then you get to target a Goki on the field, and you get a special on the head bar. And then your monster you targeted will gain 800 attack. So it's kind of decent for extending your plays, because like, say you've got like, I don't know, like a dead um, copy of a card, or if you want to set up the rematch, or monster reborn, you simply just do that, boom, spe summon um, head bar, give you monster extra attack, which is nice, but then you can go into more link summon plays. Um, the two copies of... Of Octus Sketch. Um, I can't pronounce this guy's name. Um, basically, if this is kind of like a hand trap as well, so should, should, should your opponent um, uh, pose monster deal, deal damage, you can discard this card and and half the damage you take, which is kind of nice. Um, and and also, it's a Goki card, so it has the same effect where you can do the whole. Um, we can do the whole search, and also you can discard this card as well for hand for for a hand trap effect to half any um, any effect damage that you would take as well. Um, it's kind of, and also it's good for Link for Link Crew because it is a level one. One Rush Scorpio. This card, along with Bear Hug, is like the only ones you don't need more than them because they're not really that all, all that good. Um, should you have no monsters or um, uh, or all the monsters you control are Goki, you can you get normal summon this card without a tribute. If it was special, it'd be so much better, but it's not. Um, and it's kind of just another Goki, and also it can surge. Um, triple. Goki Suprix. Um, if this card is normal summoned, you get special summon a Goki from your hand. So if you're doing it with Bear Hug, Bear Hug's effect will trigger because you use the Goki's effect to summon it. It's just, it's just very good. Um, it's just very good. You can summon out any of your monsters, bring out some big plays. Um, the Twist Cobra. Um, two of these. Um, it has an effect where you contribute a Goki and um, you can target another Goki and it gains attack equal to the original attack of the monster that you attributed. So you can kind of go for a big push with this if you want. To, and um, since you're tributing um, your Gokis, because they're going from the um, field to the graveyard, the effects are going to trigger, which allows you to search out another card. So if you wanted to go into that rematch, you can just search out the rematch because you tributed a monster to do so. Um, now, and that's it for the Gokis, guys. I'm running one Spiral Super Agent. It's a warrior, so it's searchable with Rhoda. Um, if this card is, is in your hand, you get to um, guess the top card of your opponent's deck. If you guess right, you get special summon this bad boy. And because it's special by the effect of a spiral card that includes its own effect, you get to pop one of your opponent's back rows as well. Which is kind kind of good in my opinion. That's the only reason we're running it, because really because it's a, a warrior. Um, free um, free um, jump um, jump forward. If you have no monster guys, you can special so, um, summon this guy. Because we are running free equip spells, we are um, is able to um, be summoned with uh, with Isto uh, 
uh, with uh, Miss Stella. It, um, or oh, whatever the car is, um, I can never pronounce his name. It is actually a um, very good card, especially good, um, you play you play it in the beginning of your combo, then you get a free monster, and you go into your big players. Um, three copies of Blue Mountain um, um, Butter Spy. All of our monsters, apart from the hand traps, are going to be warriors. So you normal, so you normal summon them. You get special summon this um, this card. Instant um, link to um, going to um, our um, our monster for for, um, for for the equips. It's so easy to do. Um, hand traps we've got two ash blossoms. If we could have three guys, we could ash blossom is a good card, but we can't. It's limited to two. So that's why I'm running two of these. We've got two of the ghost bell and haunted mansion. If it's kind of like um. Uh, like like Ash Blossom, but instead of the deck, it focuses on the graveyard. So if you play a spell, someone's from the grave, vanishes from the grave, tries to add a card from the grave, this card will shut it down. And then Ghost Ogre, should your opponent, should your opponent activate a card or effect on the field, you can um, you can discard this card and destroy it. However, it doesn't negate; it only destroys. So bear that in mind with this card. Um, and that's it for the monsters, guys. Going into the spells, you're running three copies, uh, sorry, two copies of Core by the Grave. It stops all hand traps and also can disrupt your opponent's plays as well. So if your opponent tries to, I know, play, um, tries to um, a, a play cards um, like um, these Sky Strikers with the uh, multi roll, tries to bring back their cards. You can um, you can banish them. You can banish the hand traps. I say you can. It, it works great for the um, Thunder Dragons. You can get them out um, out of the graveyard. To, um, I mean, yeah, it does banish them, but it gets them out of the grave, so they can't do it. So they can't do anything with the um, Colossuses. Um, it really helps out a lot of sit situations, helps a lot of players. Um, two Go Goki rematch. Basically, guys, it's a monster reborn. It and it's searchable because it has the word Goki in its name, so every single one of our Gokis can search this card. Um, you basically target two two Gokis with different levels, special them back to the field, and because they still have their effects, guys, you can play Goki rematch. Bear Hulk's effect will still trigger. So, um, um, still trigger, which will cut your monster attack in half. Um, Living Fossil, one of the um, free, uh, um, free equip spells. I had to think of some other cards to play, guys, since, like I say, Divine Sword Phoenix Blade is banned in this game. And it is such a, da and such a downside as well. Uh, what this card basically does is kind of like a monster reborn. You get to activate it, target level 4, lower monster in your grave, special summon it. However,. Um, banish it when it leaves the field, but I think it doesn't work if you do that with links. I don't really know, uh, uh, no. So please bear with me on that. Uh, one monster reborn, just bring back our monsters, continue our plays. Uh, moon, moon mirror shield is actually a decent card and great for the um, 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 uh, and great for the uh, Mr. plays. Um, uh, if this card's face up is sent from the field to the graveyard, you can pay five hundred life points to send this card from the top or bottom of the deck which is kind of uh, which is kind of nice as well so it kind of recycles it but um, it kind of recycles it and also it is recyclable with griffin as well um and then i was i put this card in guys instead of the divine sword because again it's done sword fan um, and none and um, we don't like to make uh, make cards that you can't use in rank matches uh, rank matches it's basically guys i had i've never played this card once uh, once i only sent to the graveyard um, graveyard for my uh dog plays uh, basically, you get to equip it to, um, um, to a warrior, and once per turn, you can target one set card your opponent controls. You, you, the, um, the the a warrior equipped loses 500 attack, but that the but that spell or trap is destroyed. So it's kind of decent in a way in itself. And then a roader search out all of our warriors apart from the two level five ones. Um, Upside goblin. I, tr I, I put this in because I couldn't think of an, a 39th card to put in, or a 40th card to put in. Sorry. It basically, you get to draw a card, and yeah, you put against a thousand life points, but you kind of can make that up kind of quick. Then moving on to the traps, we've got two um, infinite impertinence. It's kind of a hand trap as well, because you can play it to fair if you have no cards. Um, if, if you have no cards, however, if you do, um, if you do decide to play um, to set this card, not only will it, um, not only does it um, negate a monster's effects on the field, it also can negate a spell or trap in the same column. Then for our solemn game, we've got solemn judgment and two solemn strikes. Shut down those um, those deck guys because Gokis, like I say, especially in this deck, it's not that it is strong, but hell, it can be better. So you do need some form of protection, and negating your opponent's special summons and um, spell traps does actually help out a lot. 
And that's it for the deck, guys. Going on to the extra deck, we are running the one copy of Borosaur Dragon, the MVP, in my opinion, in this deck. He's so he is so powerful, so beasty. Can't be destroyed in battle. You can target one mon you can target one attack position monster, doesn't matter which side. Change to attack mode. This bad boy can attack twice. Should it attack an opponent's mon? It, it, it halves that monster's attack and it gains that attack. So it's absolutely fantastic card. Um, one, Goki the Giant Ogre. This is kind of like another um, like boss monster. It's like, if you can get this out, go for it. But I kind of prefer the Borrow Sword. Um, it requires three, um, three, plus go um, three, three plus Goki monsters to summon it. Um, it can't be destroyed in battle and it's unaffected by... The activation of, uh, of effects your opponent's monsters have with attacks that, uh, with attack that's less than it, which is kind of decent in a way, it gives a little bit of protection. Uh, when your opponent, uh, opponent activates a card or card effect that, uh, that targets this card, uh, uh, that targets this card or, uh, or monster this card points to, you can make this card lose 500 attack and if you do negate the activation. Secondly, if once per turn, if this if this current card's attack is different than its originals, you can make it gain a thousand attack, which is kind of niche in itself, so you can kind of actually. You lose 500 life, you, you pay 500 attack points and you get a card, but then you make it gain a thousand. Since it's kind of gained 500 attacks, it's kind of decent. Um, Goki the Giant Ogre. Um, this card is kind of like you kind of your standard go to Goki. Um, all monsters on the field lose attack equal to the original defense. All of our Gokis don't have any defense, so it doesn't affect them. And also, all Link monsters don't have defense, so it doesn't affect them as well. Um, no, fed them as well, so it's kind of decent. And will this card be destroyed in battle by card effect? You can destroy one of your monsters' card points to instead. Um, Goki the Thunder Ogre. Um, if um, if a monster's card points to is destroyed by battle or by card effect, you can make this card gain 400 attack, which is kind of niche. Um, the, um, and um, and um, also this is this kind of replaces the Goblin, but Goblin's so much better. Um, during the main phase, um, the turns player so. Your opponent does have this effect as well. They can normally summon one uh, one monster from their hand to the to to, um, to a zone this card points to. So please bear that in mind. But it kind of gives you an extra normal summon as well. Uh, the uh, the uh, is it is I can't pronounce this card's name. Basically, guys, this card second is linked summon. You get to add a warrior from your deck to your hand. All of our cards apart from the hand traps are warriors, so that's so that's great. Secondly, you get to send equipped spells from our deck to the grave, and you get special on a monster with levels equal to that um, to the to the monsters that you, uh, sorry, equal to the cards that you sent. So, if, say you draw a card like you have an equipped spell in your hand, whoop to do, you can still summon out um, headbat with two cards. Even if you have the one card, you can still summon the uh, uh, the uh, the uh, octopus. So you can still summon, so you can still play a card to summon. Also. Um, it's nice to have that card you searched. However, please bear that. Please bear this in mind. You can't normal summon or special summon the card that you uh, the card that you added with this that, that you searched with this card. So please bear that. Uh, please bear that in mind if you add like I don't know a suplex because it means you can't summon the suplex. Um, and going on to the nightmare cards, we've got nightmare Cerberus, nightmare Griffin, nightmare Phoenix, and nightmare Unicorn. If we could have nightmare Goblin guys, we would, but unfortunately we can't. Um, Cerberus, what it does is, if you can discard a card and, uh, and then target a special monster in your opponent's main monster zone, not in the extra monster zone, and you can destroy it. And all of the um, Nightmare cards share an effect where, if they are co-linked, you get to draw a um, you get to draw one card. Um, Nightmare Griffin, it recycles our spells. It's great for the go um, to recycle the Goki rematch to set up the next turn play to go into a big explosive. Um, and again, you get to draw, draw a card. Um, Nightmare Phoenix, um, you get to discard a card, target one spell, or track your opponent controls, destroy it. So it's kind of like the spell version of uh, Cerberus. And then finally, Unicorn, um, you discard a card, target one card in the field, return it to the deck. So it's like a compulse, which is very good in itself. Um, the Link Karibo, because we're running um, 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 Octopus, we decided, uh, decided to run this. It's a, uh, it's a Link one. Then, because your monster's gone to the grave, you get to search that. Uh, you get to search out the Goki, or you get to search out the Goki rematch. It's as simple as that. It's basically just for the searching. Um, Proxy Jargon. The only reason I put it in this card is because I wanted a I wanted a Link 2 or a Link 3 that had arrows pointing to the sides because I had it where multiple times I could have brought out a couple of um, a couple mum um, or uh, at least another Link monster if I just had like an arrow point to the side. So I decided we'll put in Proxy Dragon. Um, put, put in Proxy Dragon. It's not a bad, um, um, bad card. Um, Tropolon make 
um, Tr Trisbania. You can special summon. This card actually is kind of good for the burn burn damage because you special summon very like a lot in this deck. Um, you can uh, special summon a monster next to this card's um, point. Wipe out your opponent's uh, wipe out your opponent's back row and all. So um, you get to banish every uh, every monster this card points to, and you flip 500 points of damage for every card that was banished. So say you're going against a um, you, you're going against an altar guys. This card's actually very good because it just banishes all all, 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 all of their cards. It's the main reason you're going to use it for. Or if you want to go go for game and just go for a big uh, uh, my big burn um, burn damage in your main main phase two. Um, Trigate Wizard. This is actually a decent level three. If, um, if oh, sorry, link three. Um, it has effects based on how many monsters it's co-linked to. So if a monster, um, so if it's co-linked with one monster, um, a mon um, if a monster co-links this card, battles your opponent's monster. You can inflict double damage. If it's co-linked to two cards, you can target one card on the field and banish it. And should it be co-linked to three cards, when a card, uh, when a card or effect is activated, you can negate the activation and then banish the card. So it's actually has got very uh, nice, nice effects as well. It's not too difficult to get out the link cards, especially with Goki Rematch. And then Underclock Taker, um, you can target one monster on your field and then target one. Uh, so you can target one monster. On, uh, this card points to a uh, one. Um, face up monster your opponent controls. You make it lose attack points equal to the um, equal to the monster this card points to, which is actually very good. So you have Boral Sword. You can make your opponent lose three thousand attack points, which is very nice. And there you go. Um, and that is it, guys, for the deck. Like I highly, highly stress out. This deck is not as good as it can be because there is a stupid ban list that is stopping us from doing um, from um, from doing said things. Uh, if you can. Help me make this deck better, go for it, because I do like Gokis, and it's a shame that they've been hit so hard. And that is it for the deck, guys. Like I say in every single video, if um, 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 video likes uh, um, likes are highly appreciated, and it kind of helps me to find out which decks you guys prefer. Uh, and, for, and comment down below on which deck you would like to see next, if you have any. I do have a few coming up, such as the Stardust Assault deck. I'm kind of me, and that's kind of being going to be a little bit weird because. Certain cards are in the game, so I have to kind of adjust to that. And also, we've got um, a six samurai deck, so I will get around to making them decks eventually. Um, 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 uh, decks eventually. And with that, guys, I'm, that's going to be that's going to be it for me. Enjoy the deck replays and take care. Have a great day.